Lord Jehovah, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Yahweh, He has spoken with me today, this past night, uh, in a very, very mega conversation that I want to share with your listeners and uh, the many, many, many cities globally that are tuned in. I want to share this uh, monumental conversation that the Lord had with His two tremendous prophets this night. Uh, when the Lord took us, He took us to a place, it's mountainous place, the mountain ranges, very serious mountains. I see very tall mountains and mountain ranges. There are ranges of mountains, I see. The very mountainous place I'm describing now. I'm now describing exactly the site. So the Lord took us this past night. He took us to this place, and I see very mountainous, very tall, very high mountains, mountain ranges, I see. And then the voice, of the Lord, by voice he said, mountain ranges, very mountainous. And then he showed me the mountains. He took us again very close so we could see almost uh, how the mountains ascend, almost vertical like this. Quite high, quite really, really high mountain up there. And then he lifted us. We could now see again above the mountain, so we could see that there, there's this peak, there's this, there's this mountain range, and there's another one right in there, and the so-called mountainous ranges. You, you see mountain ranges, you see one huge mountain with many ranges there, and it's long, you know, uh, it's a long mountain. And then I see also that when he brought us there, he raised our attention to this very tall pillar, I don't know, this, there is a pillar. It looks like a pillar, either a pillar of rock. It looks like a pillar of rock that is on one of the slopes of the mountain ranges. And then uh, God the Father, his own hand, I saw now when he came to draw for these two prophets, he drew for them that pillar with his hand. He came and drew that pillar with his hand, and actually he marked it striped it, striped it as he marked it. It is the taller bit and then the little fatter bit sitting on uh, being the base and so forth. So again, the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, he took me to a mountainous place with many mountain ranges, long mountains and quite high also, quite high up. And you could see one mountain range and then the next one right in there, the next one on the other side, quite deep as they go in. And then when I stood there, then I saw him coming now to speak to the two prophets about what is going to happen at that place. And then he commanded them, he commanded them to decree judgment, to pronounce judgment at that place, to a tremendous judgment of the Lord. And then what I saw is that a beam of light, there is a tremendous beam of light like the sun that the Lord did shine in that place. The Lord did shine in that place, a tremendous beam of light, so much light. So much light then shone over those mountains and down to their slopes, even down to the valley. So bright, bright light. And so for a moment we thought, it's because this side is dark and the other side is under the sun, the other side of the earth. So probably we thought that is the statement he's making, that it is going to be sun on the other side while it's dark on this side, meaning it's on the other side of the earth. And so um, bright, sunny, light, bright, you know, and it was hot also. And then after that... Um, when the two prophets of the Lord, when the two tremendous, the two dreadful prophets of Yahweh, the messengers of eternity, when they were commanded to decree and pronounce judgment over that land, and then they did so as they were commanded this night, and a massive monumental earthquake took place. Monumental is the word. 
a massive monumental earthquake took place. And it really dug. It struck that place. And down there, I could see now down at the valley, it's as though there is a quarry, there is a digging, there is a quarry, like a place where there's mining. You could see the soil, the, the deep hole, the deep hole that is dug there, as if a mining quarry. And you could see a lot of soil, and it's such a hole that so much soil is now all above, or at the heap of soil, all around the mouth of the hole. This became a tremendous moment, a very shocking moment in this conversation when finally the two prophets of the Lord acted exactly as the Lord had commanded them to do. And a massive, massive temblor, a massive monumental earthquake struck these mountain ranges. When I looked down there, we were now able to see the deep, deep hole that has been created. The soil is reddish, and it's as though it's a mining site down there, the valley. But you see the mouth of that hole, a lot of soil, a lot of soil like a mining, and it's a wide place. It's a wide, wide, wide hole that was created. I could see even the bottom of it. I could see now the, the soil that is all over around that hole. And then, again, woke up, and once more again slayed me, and then they saw the Lord speaking to his two prophets again about the same conversation. Again, he took them there to the same site a second time and showed them the mountain ranges, and this brilliant light, like the sun, it was quite hot though, but it was unique light, and again, trying to understand, probably it's dark here and light on the other side of the earth. Then the mountain ranges, and the voice of the Lord again say, very mountainous, the mountain ranges, twice. And then he commanded them to strike that land with a massive earthquake. And the massive earthquake took place down. Again, down there looked more like at the shaking of those mountains, massive mountains, long mountains with different ranges, and up there, high peaks up there. But when they were shaken upon the decree and the pronouncement of these two dreadful prophets, violently, monumental earthquake, and then this deep hole is created with a lot of soil around it. So much soil, red soil is up, and a lot of rocks. Very, very serious shaking, beloved people, coming to the earth. And the Bible is very, very clear. The Bible has stood out very clear on the times we are in. We know very well that these are the last days. Everybody now knows when you watch your news, you know that the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming and the signs of the coming of the Messiah are here. You don't need to go anywhere. You simply need to tune on your news and you know that surely these are the signs written in Matthew 24. And all the scriptures that spoke about the dispensation right before the coming of the Messiah. And then, beloved people, at that time, again, I fall asleep. Then I see the Lord coming to speak to his two prophets again. And then by voice he speaks with them. He holds a conversation with them. And this time... He now shows me the two prophets going to go live on air, going to go live on radio. They are going to announce. They are going to go live on air and announce globally that there is such a visitation, such a tremendous visitation of God the Father that is coming upon the earth. The Bible in the book of Matthew 24, verse 7, talks about the tremendous earthquakes and the famines that will happen across the earth. And these are the signs that Jesus divulged to the church. He gave the secrets about his coming. That when you see these things, you know that my coming has drawn nigh. Beloved people, I have seen a tremendous tableau. A tremendous monumental earthquake coming to hit the mountains. Those mountains, I don't know which mountains these are. These mountains look more like the Andes Mountains of South America. And I know that right now, I am preparing, we are preparing to leave for Lima.
Lima, Peru. Right now, the focus is on Lima, Peru. The powerful historic revival coming to Lima, Peru. But I do not know where these mountains are. They look more like the Andes Mountains that have very long ranges like this. Maybe it's Himalayas. I don't know. The Lord has not shown me this. But he's taken me to that place. Then the sun. The sun was there. This side was dark. So so ever the case, wherever it be, it's now absolutely clear that the message transmitted is the most important. The message it transmits that the Messiah is coming. Shalom, toda, 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 raba, toda, Hashem, toda, have a rim, toda, have a shelly, toda.